Hey guys, today we have the Hubson H107C Plus and I'm going to do a quick little review and indoor flight for you on this one. Uh, first, I want to just say that I got this one from Amazon uh, from a seller named Mifly Drone. It's uh, M-I-F-L-Y. Uh, you may pronounce that also as My Fly Drone. Um, I'm not sure which, which they prefer to be pronounced, but uh, that's how I say it, Mifly Drone. And um, you can pick this one up for just under $40, and at least that's what the current price is. And uh, if you come back, I'll post a link um, with a promotional code that you can copy and then go and click on the link and paste that code in to get yourself a nice little discount. Uh, generally, the promotion codes I've got here as of late are about 50% off. So if you can get this one for 50% off, you're getting a really good deal because you're going to get it for probably under 20 bucks. And if you're a prime member, there's free shipping. So uh, really good deal to come. Uh, hopefully I'll get that soon. And like I said, I'll post the link with the promotion code at the bottom of the video. Uh, so now let's get on to the drone itself. Um, this is a pretty good looking little flyer, little, uh, I guess we can call this a micro, and um, it's very tough. It's got a nice thick plastic. Uh, it's not, it's not fragile at all. It's, you can flex the legs and stuff, but this is pretty tough. I would imagine this can take some pretty hard impact, uh, which it's gonna, it's gonna get some impact if you're flying it indoors. But with this one, uh, I've been flying a lot of little micros here lately, or a few little micros of Hubsons lately, and uh, doing all my flights indoors. And have to say that this is now my new favorite. Uh, generally, I don't pick out a specific model and say that's my favorite, uh, but this one really is. It's a lot of fun to fly indoors. Um, it's not strictly an indoor flyer. You can fly it outside, uh, but when I buy these little ones, the sole purpose for me is flying indoors. So I'm going to call it an indoor flyer, uh, just because I think that also will be its bigger selling point is how well it flies in, indoors in tight spaces. So, uh, this one, you can fly very well in tighter spaces. Uh, it's incredibly stable. I mean, it's very stable. Um, probably the most stable one I've flown so far at this size from Hubson. And uh, it holds altitude very well. Um, I have not done headless mode on it. I, I generally do not fly headless mode. Um, but if you fly, if you like to fly headless mode, you have that option here. Um, it is not a GPS flyer, which is good for flying indoors because if you have a if you're flying an indoor uh, a GPS flyer indoors and it's looking for satellites, it, they just don't fly that great indoor, in my opinion. So. Uh, if it's got GPS, it's it's definitely made to be flown outside. Uh, you've got the battery. It's a 3.7, 520 milliamp, and it just slides right in and snaps. It also comes with this charger, just a little USB charger, and you plug it into there, and then plug this into your computer and charge it. And you got SD card in the bottom here. It does not come with its own SD card that you have to supply. Uh, I'm using a SanDisk 8 gigabyte uh, class 10. And it just slides right in and snaps. Then you have the power button here. And once you turn it on, you want to instantly set it down on a flat level surface. It's very important. Uh, you definitely want to set it on a flat level surface because the first thing it's going to do is it's going to calibrate the gyro and uh, reset the val values to zero. Um, if you do that on a unlevel surface, then it's going to fly accordingly, uh, which is poorly. So you want to make sure you do that. And if you are flying this and it fly, it, it drifts off left to right or front to back when you're trying to keep it stable, um, then the thing to do is repower it up on a flat level surface again and let it recalibrate the gyro. And uh, sometimes with these little guys, you have to do that uh, a few times before they really dial in. 
Um, if you crash, you're definitely going to want to do that. So that's the H107C itself. Nice little flyer. Got your LEDs on the front, LEDs on the back. They're nice and bright. And you got your camera right here in the front. And then you have your controller. Uh, this is pretty standard for Hubson Micros. They have two different styles that they use. Uh, this one I like just because it holds nicely in hand. Um, you've got your photo and video buttons on top and your trim tabs. And uh, just quickly a few features here. If you press and hold the left stick, then you're going to hear a repeated beep and you can do your left, right, up, down, flip. Um, or forward back flip uh, and uh, also you can put it into headless mode so um, which I believe is just pressing and holding this one and it's pretty basic uh, it takes four AA batteries um, you can put you have a manual mode and you also have a sport mode which is a 50% mode at manual or beginner mode and um, Sport mode, I guess, would be 100%. I think they put that at 100%. Um, I have not done that yet on this one, but most of them, that's what the case is. And you get ready to fly with four props already on it. And you get a baggie of four more props. They just slide right on. And then you get your prop tool, which you put underneath and pop them off. And that's it. As for the features, the selling point features on this are uh, flips and rolls, which, like I said, it holds a very nice pattern, a very nice tight flipping pattern, and uh, holds its altitude. You have headless mode, altitude hold mode. Uh, it's got a HD camera, which they're stating at 1000, uh, I'm sorry, 1000, 1080p, uh, which I believe that should say 720 by 1080. Um, but the quality on this camera, like the other Hubson cameras, are is a very good quality. Um, that's one thing I always give credit is their. I think their their cameras give you some pretty good quality. Uh, if you compare this to some other models um, at 720p, uh, I think it's much better. And it's a 2.4 gigahertz RC series. Uh, that's your 2.4 control signal. And uh, it says fly outdoor, um, also indoor. Uh, I don't know why they don't say it flies indoors because I think it's an incredibly comfortable indoor flyer. And then built-in LEDs. I'm not sure if you can turn off the LEDs by long pressing the trim button. That's something to check as well. Um, well, I can check that for you right now before we do a flight. Turn it on. Set it down on a level surface. Give it a few minutes here just to double check the gyro. Then turn on your controller. Actually, when you turn on your controller, that's when it does the gyro. So when those lights were flashing, it was doing the gyro sensor and uh, calibrating. So uh, let's see if we can turn these LEDs off. Nope, you cannot. No, it does not. Okay. So you cannot turn off the LEDs. They stay on, but it's okay. Very nice little LEDs. You got two up here on the nose, and then you have them on the legs, and then red in the back. To start your motors, you simply pull the sticks like this. Very quiet. And off. All right, so now we will go do a quick little indoor flight, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and are able to uh, participate in the promotion code once I attach it. And to those of you who subscribe to my channel, uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the flight, and thanks again.